So I've had this uh, 2000, no, 2021 Honda CBR 650R now for just over two months. And, uh, and I got about 5,200 kilometers on the bike. That's about 3,000 miles, something like that. And <clears throat> as most people know who watch my channel, I bought it sight on sea, never even sat on it before. I went strictly by the specs of what I wanted at a bike. And uh, you know what, after uh, 5,200 kilometers, absolutely no surprises. No surprises on the good side or the bad side. It's just a really good bike, exactly what I wanted to sort of replace both my GSX-R750 and my uh, Suzuki SFV650 Gladius. Yeah, uh, I did a, a video a while back on uh, the pointlessness of test riding. It would have done me any good to test ride this bike. It takes uh, a little while to get to know a bike. Like, I'm still learning a little bit. Do you know when I first got it, I was comparing it to my GSX-R750 and the engine didn't seem near as smooth as that one. That GSX-R had a dual balance shaft. It was like, I mean, when you ran it at 8,000 RPM, it was like satin smooth. This one felt a bit vibey, but as time wore on and the miles built up, it smoothed out. The engines, I would say, almost, almost as silky smooth as that GSX-R. And the other thing I learned is this bike really loves revs. Uh, you can't pussyfoot around. The sweet spot's about seven to 9,000 RPM. You can't be shy about taking it up there because it seems to love it. So the advantage of being an experienced rider that's had a several bikes, you know what you like and don't like in a bike, and you can pretty much find out what you want off the specs. And that's pretty much what I did to get a, a bike under 10 grand or around 10 grand. I guess it was closer to 11 here in Canada. I get 96 horsepower or 95 or whatever it is. And one thing I will say, I wouldn't want a bike with any less power than this. I ride almost exclusively on the highways. And the main thing you want in a bike for the highway is the ability to pass at will. If you, you don't want any white knuckle passing or can I get by this guy or not, you want to know I could pass anybody at any time, crank her down, maybe six to fourth, give her the beans and it's gone by. And that's what you want on a highway bake. I don't stay behind anybody. I pass everybody I come up against, unless it's a super bike or a Ferrari or something, which are not too many of those around. And I just get by and get my own space in the highway. So you have to be able to do that. You know, Yamaha came out with that F7, 74 horsepower. It might be great in the city for urban riders, but if you're a rider like me, I'm almost like 95%. I mean, I never go into town with the bikes. I'm always on a highway, highway like this, you know, just flying along. And I need to be able to pass anybody that I come up against. So that's why the power is great on this bike. And uh, it's just the great, you know, uh, the bike I wanted and I got. So I'm happy about it.